Hi, I'm Travel Specialist Jeff Merrill in Isleton, California, near Stockton in the California Delta. I am aboard Mia Moore. She is a 2001 DeFever 49, twin Perkin engines, track active fin stabilizers, air conditioning, two cabins, really a clean boat. The current owners purchased it from me about six years ago. They're done. They've done their thing. They bought it in San Diego, they took it back up here to the Delta area. Good clean foredeck on the boat. It's got the electric windlass, foot buttons. There's a little bit of teak around, not too bad. Up forward, there's also a hatch and a little storage locker, and they have a, a separate fortress anchor for emergency situations. Forward shore power cord, and a wash down. The Portuguese bridge deck has a boarding gate. This is also trimmed in teak. It's always great to be on a Portuguese bridge. I love them. There are two side decks. It walks around on either side. To get into the pilot house, door on either side. Good windows coming down the side deck. Fairly tall bulwarks. Covered overhead. Come back to the cockpit. Cockpit is a generous amount of space. It's covered overhead. Again, more teak trim outboard the gate to get back to the swim platform. It's right here. Easy transition out to the swim platform. Here you can see the name. Mia Moore. Got another vantage of this cockpit area. Compression post right here for the crane. It's electric crane. There's a life sling back here, a sink, some storage lockers, and a ladder here that goes up to the boat deck. But I find it easier to get up to the boat deck from the inside. Here's that other side deck right here. So let's go ahead and join me in the salon, please. Thank you. Right in from the cockpit, you enter into the salon and galley. I really love these DeFevers. I've been lucky enough to be involved in several of them and did an interview with Wilson Lynn, who built many of them. They really do a lot of thinking in here. Very comfortable living area. Two big chairs, comfortable. Look at the windows. You have excellent visibility out there, outside, and then you have a large couch on the starboard side. Parquet wood floor underfoot. Two bar stools up on the galley counter so you can be chatting with the people who are preparing meals in the galley. Uh, over on the starboard side, there is a flat screen television and also a splendid combomatic laundry appliance. Little liquor bar area. This is an opening window on the starboard side so you can get some cross ventilation. The galley right above the sink also has an opening window. So there's some good airflow that comes in here. From the galley, you can be talking to the people in the salon, taking their order, preparing their meal. There are overhead lockers in the galley. Up here, drawers down below. A three burner electric stove top by Force 10, microwave oven. And a real primary feature is this huge Kenmar home appliance, refrigerator, freezer. Excellent visibility outside here. You've got some air circulation. The entire interior is air conditioned. And this is a, a salon that's a very comfortable place to hang out. From here, you again can go outside through the cockpit or you can go up the stairs to the pilot house. Let's check that out. Up a couple of steps from the entry level, the salon and galley, you come up to the pilot house on Mia Moore. It's a raised pilot house. I love the raised pilot house concept. You are up high, great visibility forward. This is a separation zone, separates you from the cabins forward and the entertainment galley salon back aft. You have a printer up here. There's a laptop computer, engine controls chart plotter, compass, depth sounder, autopilot, 
AVT track stabilizers, another VHF radio, Link 2000, windlass controls, good teak helm, comfortable chair for sitting in, and your guests who aren't operating the boat can hang out back on this L-shaped settee. You notice that the table has a hinge in it, so if you want to use this for more for dining, you could open that up, but for underway, you keep it hinged down. From here, you can go down to the lower level. You can go out either side door. The side doors, this is cool. The side doors have phantom screens, so you can actually debug the boat. Both of them do. So out either side deck, back down to the salon and galley, up to the flybridge, and down to the lower level. So even a gate here, so you can fence this off. Keep small children or pets or old men from falling down the stairs. Let's go look down below. From the pilot house, you go down about 10 steps to get to the accommodations. I think you're gonna like this. There are two cabins down here. You come down to the landing and forward, that's the guest head right there. Forward are two beds, two bunks, an overhead hatch. You are below the foredeck. Chain locker access all the way forward. There's a door that closes this off. Reading lights. You come back into the, the guest head right here. Back you flush toilet, opening port light, mirror. There's the toilet, and then the owner cabin is back amidship, so it's further aft. Good island bed. You can get in and out of either side comfortably. Good hanging locker bureau on the port side, mirror, little desk area. And then as you come back around, you have your own head and shower. Good size shower. Sink, another vacuum flush toilet, shower has a door, has a little seat, so comfortable, quiet, good ventilation, air conditioning is also going to keep you comfortable, your guests are forward, and when it's time to get back into action, you come up these steps and you're back in the pilot house. Easy to come up a couple of steps from the pilot house to get up to the flybridge. There's a sliding hatch there with the window in it so you can see what's going on. Up on the flybridge, Excellent visibility forward. Electronics, you have a VHF radio, autopilot, your engine controls. There's the sliding hatch that takes you down to the wheelhouse. Comfortable Todd helm chair. And for your guests who are joining you, they can sit back on this L-shaped sofa. And then from here, we can go back down a couple of steps. It's just a short couple of steps down. The life raft is here. Electric hoist for launching the dinghy. Creep dinghy is wonderful. Does a great job. Right down here. And you also have the arch and boomini top. Good outside area here. If you need protection to be covered, you go back to the cockpit. If you want to enjoy some sun, you can also go up to the foredeck. I think you'll find that you'll be spending a lot of time up here on the flybridge and boat deck of Myanmar. Engine room is very easy to enter. You come down a ladder here in the galley. Perkins. Sabres on both port and starboard's twin engine boat. Fuel manifold forward. 
duplex Raycors for each engine. On the starboard side, a Fireboy fire suppression, some batteries, and also the power takeoff for the active bin stabilizers. The strainers on the boat are Groco. There is a fuel filtering system. You see the engines are easy to get to on both sides. The Fever puts this nice peak planking along the center line so you have a level surface for walking on. The track stabilizer reservoir, and here is the stabilizer on the starboard side. It's about in line with the transmission. PSS shaft seal, tripless on both engines. There's the other active pin stabilizer and a view forward of both engines. Coming back on the starboard side, oil change system, brake or for the Westerbeek generator. A clever teak work shelf bench. The door for the lazarette. Hot water tank, water maker, it's a village marine. You start losing your headroom as you work your way back aft into the lazarette. Lazarette has its own bilge pump. The two steering posts, a ladder up to the cockpit, and primarily storage, but it's very clean and tidy in here. There's some dive tanks. Tools, spare parts, batteries. It's an engine room that you can easily crawl around in. It's one that you will enjoy doing your servicing. You can actually get to everything. And I think that you'll find that the engine room checks will be a highlight and something you look forward to, not something that you dread. Thank you for joining me aboard this wonderful DeFever 49. It's an ideal couples cruiser. You can have friends and family join you. As you saw, the engine room has the twin Perkins. You have a Portuguese bridge on the foredeck. It's uncluttered. The boat deck is simple. You have a raised platform for the pilot house. Salon and galley have everything you need for cooking and enjoying, relaxing. Cockpit area where I am right now is comfortable as well. Easy to go for a swim, the swim platform right out through the gate. We'd love to get you on board yourself so you can see for yourself. We do that by appointment. You can call, text, or email me. The information is on the screen. We also have all the information on jmys.com, photos, specifications. There's a 360 tour. If you're really serious, you can look at that. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your time. Give me a call. Thank you. Hey, great to be underway again out on the water. Love it out here. Thank you very much for watching the video. We have a couple of things you can do. One thing is you can click the bell to get a reminder when we post the next video. We love it when you give us those thumbs up. And then you can subscribe by clicking the button below. Once you've seen a couple of videos, you might also want to check out some of the other ones. So you can click on one of these videos on the side. Thanks. We hope to have you come back here soon and we'll be putting up more content shortly.